Search engine optimization is one of the main channels that you need to consider when you're thinking about personal branding online. Why do we think about search engines? Ultimately, you are thinking about creating social media profiles, going to networks such as Meetup. The idea is that search engines will actually gather all this personal branding online information about you and associate this for somebody who actually searches for your name. And when there is a search query, there is an intention. If somebody types in your name into a search engine, chances are they actually want to find you or find information about you. So it's really useful for you to start thinking about the way that your name appears on the search engine results page. So search engine results pages are obviously formed of a number of factors. And as you see, there are a number of images that actually appear there. There are also videos that are shown and actual social media profiles that you've created and the things that you can actually see yourself mentioning on a blog post or any other activities. So how do search engines work? Well, ultimately, a search engine is a permanently switched on calculator. And this calculator takes into account hundreds of variables that will determine whether a certain bit of content that is associated with a query will be shown to that particular person who actually types that into a search box. This depends on a number of things, such as geography of the person, <laughs> whether that text is mentioned in the title, description, the URL, or any other information that is associated with that name on that page. But ultimately, there are four elements that you need to consider about search engine optimization. First element is high quality content. And this is the most important point that you really should be focusing on your activities on. High quality content is content that is created by yourself, ideally very well researched, obviously is showing your enthusiasm for the subject area that you're trying to uh, develop or showing your enthusiasm for a certain hobby or a certain activity and something that uh, shows some authenticity, something that really makes it clear that it is your thought or the things that you've created. And this is from Google's point of view, when it realizes that this is something new, something that is regularly updated, something that goes in depth on a certain area, chances are your profile will be shown uh, above some of the others. The second element is uh, on-page optimization. So this is really important for you if you're thinking about blogging as one of your activities. So if you do try and think about your blog post uh, as uh, developing your own website, this is quite important for you to try and explore. We won't go in this uh, uh, area in this course, but generally speaking, some of the things that you need to bear in mind is some positioning of your keywords or the keywords that you are optimizing in strategic places such as description, title, URL, and some of the things that uh, will be on the actual text. So for example, if that keyword is in the first paragraph of the page, is in the headings, is frequently uh, mentioned, and obviously is also linked to, to that page. Off-page optimization is the third element and also quite an important one. Ultimately, how people link to your page and what the anchor text they're using, so this is the clickable text to your profiles. So for example, if it is your name that you're really focusing on, if somebody creates a link on their web page or on a tweet or on a social media post and actually tags you as the name, that obviously sends a signal to a search engine that that content is about that particular keyword or in this case, your name. So this is also quite important when you're thinking about interlinking all your profiles to one. So for example, if you create two or three social media profiles, how are you going to link one profile to the other and which profile will be the main profile that you're focusing on? So here you need to think about what the keyword you're focusing on and use this as a clickable text or the anchor text to come to your other profiles. In your case, your name would be a very obvious and simple way to optimize for here. So for example, if you have a Twitter page, have a link from that twi Twitter page to your LinkedIn page, and that's obviously a good endorsement for your uh, LinkedIn profile. Last but not least is technical optimization. 
This again really implies on how people will be able to see your content. So for example, if you create images or if you create video, are those uh, uh, bits of content actually accessible by those people? So for example, if you are thinking about creating a certain uh, great video and uploading it onto your own website, but people are not able to play it without a special player, maybe it is useful to use something a bit more common such as a YouTube platform and actually allow people to view that content there. However, if your target audience is in China, for example, where YouTube isn't allowed, you need to think about the hosting platform that will allow you to play the videos for your uh, target audience and so that they're able to actually access it as well. So to wrap up, search engine optimization is a critical success factor for your personal branding online. So there are four factors that we need to think about. So you need to think about high quality content, on-page optimization, off-page optimization and technical optimization. So try to think about the user and how they will be accessing this information and whether that information is accessible or not on the devices or where they will be in the physical place as well.